Okay, this is Karen Rands on the road for another video tip of the day. Okay, <clears throat> one of the things that entrepreneurs um, always want to try to do is get people to help them find money and get investors and they want to pay a finder's fee for it. Here's the reality and it's a, and used to be, you could probably get away with that and there were plenty of people running around trying to do it. And the reality is, I was talking to this lawyer yesterday that was used to work for the SEC, and I said, uh, I was told, well, you know, we tell people they can't do finder's fees, they shouldn't do finder's fees if they're going to go public because the SEC may come in and audit them, or if an investor may, um, or investor complains, you know, they, they get disappointed, they, they uh, put, issue a complaint to the SEC about a company because they didn't do, they didn't, you know, they didn't have proper documents and the SEC comes in and they investigate well if they find out that you gave finders fees or if you raise capital in a state that you weren't supposed to raise capital because the laws of that state said that you needed to have registered in that state well guess what you might have to return all your money that is not a good thing to do because chances are you already spent it so you're out of business so you know finders fees the only people you can pay finders fees to are registered broker dealers that's a series uh, six typically or a series seven person you can pay them find you can pay them a commission on raising you capital the problem with those kind of those folks and this is just sort of the catch-22 of the marketplace is that they also usually to charge a hefty retainer so you need to um, anticipate that, budget that, and that's why you need to raise friends and family money so that you can pay for the things you need to do to raise the proper and legal way to raise large amounts of capital. So that's my video tip for the day.